Hello and welcome back to the Xbox Hut. I'd like to preface this review by telling you that I had zero interest in Sunset Overdrive prior to actually having it. I watched trailers, I watched videos explaining it, but nothing really struck a chord with me. Essentially, I told myself, pass. Then I saw a video of a guy grinding on a mini roller coaster rail and thought, that looks fun. Sunset Overdrive is an Xbox One exclusive brought to us by Insomniac Games. They're known for primarily developing on PlayStation platforms and are rather well known for the Ratchet and Clank series. So how was their venture into the dark side of Microsoft's deep coffers? Traversing the game's large open world is one of the primary focuses of the game. Be warned, the learning curve is steeper than it looks. While it seems easy enough to do, the button combinations to effectively keep mobile while laying ordnance down on your enemies can be a bit of a multitasking challenge. Once you do get it, though, is when the fun really starts to crank up. Quite literally. In fact, it cranks up beyond anything I could have possibly imagined, going deep into the very definition of chaos. And that's where the game injects its addictive poison into your veins. Never have I seen so much on-screen chaos. Buried within this on-screen chaos is also decent enemy variety, ranging from these to these. You'll also have a wide array of very non-standard weaponry at your disposal, and they're all upgradable so you can cause a combination of effects. On the topic of upgrades, your character can be upgraded as well, making your aforementioned mastery of traversing the game world even more rewarding to the explosions you will so eagerly want to create. And then there's multiplayer. If you thought you were creating an absolute visual cacophony on your own, wait until you're doing this with seven other people. However, while you're enjoying this visual spectacle, keep in mind that the multiplayer missions do not scale to the number of players. If you and only a few people want to play by yourselves, you may find yourself stacked up against insurmountable odds. This is an odd oversight, and it forces you to play with randoms if you can't fill a team of eight. One of the most extensive features of content this game has is the surprising amount of clothes and accessories I can slap on my character. Fortunately, that's purchased with a different currency than is used to buy everything else. Of course, there's also a massive number of challenge missions and side quests littering the world. Unfortunately, the side content is almost all fairly boilerplate affairs, and absolutely pale in comparison to the mind-blowing variety found in the game's main missions. And that's where you'll be spending a large portion of your time, getting through the single-player campaign. Here I am using a robot killer dog. And now I'm flying over the city chasing a blimp. And now I'm using a wrecking ball to smash OD. You'll find yourself absorbed in the single-player campaign way more than you might have expected based on advertisements. This is easily Sunset Overdrive's area of strength. First off, the graphics are phenomenal. The amount of enemies, graphical effects, and absolute chaos are delivered with a frame rate that remains virtually solid. The color palette and location detail offer up visual variety as well. Top that off with an open world that is large and lovingly detailed, excellent use of style, and you have one of the best eye candy games to grace the Xbox One that might just give you tears of joy from time to time. Moving into audio, there's a surprising competence in voice acting on display, and more importantly, a surprising amount of competence in humor delivery. I purchased Sunset Overdrive mostly because not purchasing an Xbox One exclusive for review purposes would just be lame, and because I saw a roller coaster sequence that I thought looked fun. To my surprise, what I found was a game that required skill to get around, put tears of joy in my eyes over the amount of on-screen chaos, and reminded me that it was just a video game by making me laugh at some of the silliest jokes. While it's held back by a steep learning curve on movement, which I can see turning the more casual types off, some multiplayer imbalance, and all too standard side content, it delivered on the one thing that many video games forget matters, fun. Sunset Overdrive demonstrates a level of freedom and development normally only witnessed in Nintendo's own games, and is a major step forward towards making the video game industry a better place, one not dominated by games only trying to sell themselves. I give Sunset Overdrive an 8.5 out of 10. I genuinely enjoyed this game. So if you weren't sure if you should get an Xbox One, this is a damned good reason. That's it for today. Like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, and of course, subscribe. I'll see you next time on the Xbox Hut.